so wonderful. Good morning guys from Chennai flying Air India Express today on the 737 bound for Singapore and it's very early, it's 4 a.m. The things I do for you guys because it has been requested as well. I'm leaving India and flying on Air India Air India's uh, budget airline, Air India Express. No idea what to expect. You guys told me to be cautious because it could be quite an adventure, but we will find out what it's all about. So let's head to the gate. Let's go to Singapore and let's find out what Air India Express is all about. So surprised how busy Chennai airport is already early in the morning but this is because all the Middle Eastern carriers are leaving at around the same time 6 a.m. ish uh, Etihad, Qatar, Emirates uh, yeah I'm booked on Air India Express and it's a budget airline so everything that is included is just your checked uh, luggage uh, I pre-ordered some food I paid for my seat so I hope uh, I can give you a bit of an experience what it's like today So it's time to board Air India Express to Singapore. So and there we are on board Air India Express 737. It kind of looks like a living room. Uh, I like the interior, it's like all out of leather, uh, you have a nice carpet, it feels very cozy. The leg room however is very limited, as you can see. And by all means I am not a tall person. Yeah, apparently the f uh, flight is half full, which gives a great chance to have a row to myself. But yeah, first impression, uh, it's very nice, cabin crew greeted me in a very lovely manner by time from uh, Chennai to Singapore is four and a half hours so let's see what they have in store for me so however one thing I've noticed is that uh, the cabin needs a little bit of a makeover or perhaps a clean there's like there's stains literally everywhere on the wall on the seat back So yeah, Kevin is quite filthy to be honest. Uh, yeah, Air India Express, if you're listening, um, maybe have a bit of a spring clean here on this on this airplane. So and food is not included, as I mentioned before. But this is the menu. It's quite nicely laminated here. The meals start from like 300 rupees just like six Australian dollars it's uh, not too bad however you will save a lot of money if you pre-order your food online so if once you book your flight I could select a seat as well as uh, food and uh, make me uh, save uh, a few dollars and it's not it's really not cheap so when you book on Air India make sure you uh, get yourself uh, some food as well it's four and a half hours Air India Express I have to say I am in Chennai today and uh, President, or the Chairman of the Communist Party, Xi Jinping, is coming to Chennai today. So they expect quite some delays for most of the flights today because it's quite busy, higher profile visit visitor. Uh, but I'm lucky that my departure time is actually at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so I avoid all this disturbance today. Otherwise, I probably would have had quite some delay on my flight because for security reasons. So boarding is complete and I think there's around 50, 60 passengers on board, so which is good. Uh, I always prefer an empty cabin and uh, usually my travel hack is to reserve myself uh, a seat in the back because usually they start filling up the airplane from the front so I'll have a whole row to myself luckily but uh, I would have had it probably in the front as well because the flight is very empty. Something I'll have to point out though is it smells really bad here in, in the back. 
you can literally smell the lavatories and it's very very strong fragrance uh, it's not that nice I don't know whether it's a lack of hygiene they have here or cleaning whatever I haven't really come across such bad smell uh, yeah I think that's something uh, very uncomfortable on this flight here today I'm actually uh, pretty pretty satisfied with how things went so far uh, the ground stuff was extremely nice the crew is very lovely um, it doesn't look too bad here I was expecting it to be way worse because so many of you guys said merch all the worst airlines in India and you will get Air India Express so um, yeah I think I think it's not too bad it is you, you can do it and, and and the price was like I paid 150 Australian dollars for this flight four and a half hours I think this is quite a bargain this is quite a good deal um, so yeah so far so good so I have just discovered another feature which is quite rare on a on a budget airline they have power outlets universal power outlets how cool is that so we've been pushed back for an on time departure I like that Look at this beautiful, beautiful sunrise here over Chennai. What I love about flying, that those views you get are incredible. Something very, very interesting just happened. Um, you could follow the um, communication between the flight deck and the ATC uh, through these speakers here. So I don't know which button they didn't press or what they forgot. I'm sure the pilots uh, among my subscribers can explain this. It was like an onboard announcement, uh, so we could follow the conversation between ATC and uh, and uh, the flight deck. Quite interesting. It never, never, uh, never happened before. So leaving India which means my India tour 2019 uh, comes to an end. I want to quickly take this opportunity to say thank you to all my Indian subscribers uh, because you guys are amazing. The support, the comments, the likes. This is what I love about this country, that you guys are really like engaging and you guys are so interested in aviation and you really appreciate my content and I think that means the world to me and India has a very special place in my heart and even though sometimes I'm a bit critical of your airlines but I only do that with really good intentions because I want your airlines to step up the game and to realize that there is so much more potential. This is why I will come to India every year for everything, for all the love and I hope that next year I can be back uh, reviewing some new airlines. Uh, so yeah, always give me some input. What do you want me to see and to review? Uh, and I'm very happy to go out of my way to uh, accommodate your guys' requests. So I hope next year I'll be back. Thanks for keeping up with my nonsense. India, I love you very much. So and this is what uh, my breakfast looks like. That's what I pre-ordered. Uh, they deliver it in a box. So let's open the box. So I ordered the Western breakfast. It's an omelet, potato wedges, sausages. Um, there's a butter croissant in here. Some fruits, butter, uh, jam. So that is literally a $2 meal. Um, well, the presentation isn't the most beautiful, uh, but um, uh, yeah, for this price, uh, it's uh, hopefully not too bad. So let's try out. Uh, 
so I'm sorry to say that this is dry as I don't know. I don't know what to what I can compare it to, but it's like awful. It's uh, it's not edible. It's really really bad to be honest. Uh, so the catering here uh, isn't that good. You'd rather have a good breakfast or lunch, dinner, whatever, depending on your departure time before going on that flight. Like as much as I wanted to say something positive about it, it is just awfully dry. So now if you work for Vistara, please listen and learn. Um, there's this very nice cabin crew member in here, his name is Sachin. Um, and uh, he saw my camera, he saw me vlogging and he approached me and he said, uh, are you a blogger? And I said, yes, I am. And he responded with, you know, we are very delighted to have you on board, it's nice. Um, just for your information, please do not film uh, other passengers or the crew really if they don't want to however I don't have a problem to be filmed but I'm just letting you know however it's really nice to have you on board and this is the way to communicate it and this without like showing any like disturbance or disgust towards me he like really nicely communicated it uh, and uh, that's the way forward. That's how it's supposed to be. We live in 2019. Uh, I have a job. This is my job. This is how I make my living. And I, uh, for like uh, above everything, for me, it's privacy. You know, to respect one and another. That I don't film people that don't want to be filmed. That I don't disturb any passengers. That is what's very important to me. It's glad that there's mutual respect here on board. Uh, and this says a lot about the quality of those people that work here. So it's, uh, it's something I really appreciate and it means a lot to me and, and the community as such. You know, there's so many YouTubers out there, there's so many people who uh, document their travels, their lives, to make a living, to inspire others, you know. It's not like that we want to like uh, put people in shame or make fun of and you know, call out companies. Of course there needs to be uh, an opposition, I need people to highlight and point out uh, where uh, companies can improve since they charge so much money from us, you know, and it's a business and every business uh, as I would appreciate anyone to come and travel with me and review my work and uh, whatever it is. So I am very glad that on this flight it went down this road uh, in, a, in, in such a positive way, you know. So Air India Express and Sachin especially, thank you so much for your kindness and your tolerance. Uh, that is something that uh, makes you stand out. So I had a pretty good rest, that's the advantage when you have a whole row to yourself. Uh, Captain just uh, turned on the seatbelt sign and we started our descent into Singapore Changi. And uh, yeah, give you a whole summary uh, once we landed. an absolute brutal landing. <laughs> so, so check the landing gear after this. So I made it. I am in Singapore summing up my experience. Great crew, lovely crew, gross food. Sorry to say that. Kevin needs to be needs a bit of a clean as well uh, but overall it was absolutely 
satisfying considering what I paid for, how much I paid and uh, empty cabin always makes a flight so much more enjoyable. This is it guys, thank you so much for watching my Air India Express review and uh, please subscribe, let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Air India Express and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks guys for watching and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.